Hello everyone, this is Raju Mathu and today I am going to tell you about the table view API provided by Titanium Studio using Alloy Framework. So generally table view is used to display data in row manner like we will have a table and each and every row having the data. So in order to do so let's make a view. So generally we will start with the index.xml which is the landing page of the application. So here to make an, any view we need an alloy tag as we already know. So let's add an alloy tag. Then you, we need to have a window where we will put our all UI elements. Let's add a background color for the window. Like we can also have the background color property background color property for the window like let's make a white color white background then now I am going to add the table view API so in alloy to represent to view or to add it any table to a window we will have a tag called table view like here you can see that this is the table view tag then we can also to add rows to the table view we'll have uh, generally we have we call them row so here also we can we will have table view row like here this is the table view row and to display or to add text to that table uh, row we we have the table view row has the property called title which will is uh, which will be responsible to display data on that row like let's add a row text called row 1 uh, let me add few more rows to this table so here I'm adding the rows let's change the row text for different rows let's save it now to open this view generally we need to have the controller with respect to this index.xml so to define this uh, define the controller for this view we must define the index.js on in controller section so I have already defined the controller let's open it so to open the view on the screen we must need have this command like index.open function which will open the view on the screen so let's save it and let's go for running the application on simulator to see what we have added uh, it is rendering on the page or not so it will take some time as it was running for first, first time so here you can see that I have added the rows uh, and uh, defined the rows on the same page. We can also add the rows, we can also prepare the rows on different file and we can add them uh, to a table that I will show you on my next videos. So here you can see that uh, this is the table and these are the different rows that I have added to this uh, table view so like these are the these are the table view row that the title is row one so here is row one so by this way we can add multiple rows as much as we can we need sorry we need so this is the way how we can add a table view and the table view row to sh display the data on the row different rows 
to the tank.